Well, hello everybody. Today we are going to look at some ways of animating inside of Scratch. There are lots of ways to animate. We can move things around with the motion blocks, but we can also animate with the character blocks. So let's take a look and see what we can do and change how the sprites switch their costume. So I have opened up a project here. And you can see in my project, I have a couple sprites. And my first sprite here, Anna Dance, we're going to start by animating Anna Dance. And if we look at Anna Dance, we can see that she has lots of different costumes. And as we go through each one of these, Anna moves around. And that's really, really cool. But I don't want to be clicking on these all the time. So I'm going to go into the code. And I am going to add in some control. I want a loop. I want a wait one second block. I want to go into looks and I want to find the next costume block. And I also want an event when green flag clicked. So what I want to do is when the green flag is clicked, I forever want to be switching Anna's costumes, which is great. But if I do that, she's going to switch them really, really fast and it's going to be hard to see the animation. So we're going to slow her down by putting a weight in there before she switches the costume of 0.25 seconds. So when I hit the green flag, I can see that Anna is now dancing for us. Go Anna, go Anna, that's awesome. Okay, so then I have this other little cool little cat here. So I'm going to show you how I got the cat and why the cat's important. So the first thing I did was I imported a sprite from the internet, but it's a special sprite. It's a sprite that is an animated GIF and you can find them pretty easily. So I'm going to look up an animated GIF. Of a cat. And when I do that, I can see I get all these different cute little animated GIFs of cats. And there's the one I had picked, my dancing cat, right there. But there's all these cute little animated GIFs. So I like when you click on them and you can see them, you can watch that they move like a little movie. But we want that to happen inside of Scratch. So inside of Scratch, I have my Sprite Edition. I'm going to upload a Sprite by clicking on this little green Upload Sprite thing. Oops, over here. Wait, no, over here, no? Oh, I'm pointing the wrong direction. It's right here, there it is. Gotta flip over the right shoulder. So on the upload sprite thing, and then when I click that, I get this window over here. Oops, you can't see my hand, my hand disappeared. And I'm gonna upload the image to the computer. So I click open and when I do that, I get my little character that is now sitting on my sprite right here. So my head's in the way. There he is. Okay, there he is right there, my little sprite. So I'm gonna take this code and I'm gonna put this code on top of this sprite. And what that does is it copies the code onto that sprite. So now, not only does Anna have that code, but our little character here that is a cat also has that code. There we go, make that bigger. That's the code we're talking about. So when I press the green flag, look, my cat is dancing alongside my character, Anna. That's pretty awesome. Uh, except there's one problem with my cat. My cat has this issue that Anna, when I move her, you can see my cat has this background around it. And in fact, we could see it even more if I add in a background. So I'm gonna add in a backdrop. Let's get him to dance on the boardwalk. And you can see there's this white square all the way around the cat. Well, that's not real great. I don't wanna always have to use a back black background when I'm doing animations with animated GIFs. So what you have to do is remove the background. To do that, we're going to look at the costumes of the cat. 
Then I'm going to click on this bucket tool, which is a fill. And that means to fill in what is inside the bucket. So when I'm filling inside the bucket over here, what I'm going to do is instead of having a particular color picked, I am going to just make it so it has this slash. And the way you get to it is you click on the down arrow and you just click this slash right here. So that means I don't want any fill. So when I click the bucket onto the white, we can see the white goes away. The problem is there are 60, no, 58 of these that I have to go through. So hang on a second. Let me do a little bit of magic and see if I can get all of these to disappear at once. Ready? All gone. I went through and deleted them all. So now when I move my cat around, I can see. First, I have to, it's a little bit trickier to move the cat now because you have to grab a part of the cat. But we can see that there is a background behind the cat. And we can see through the cat. The cat is what we call transparent. Now, I ended up deleting the entire inside of the cat. If you don't want to delete that and you just want to delete the outside of the cat, well, that kind of depends upon how the picture is drawn. But if I take another sprite, some of the other backdrops, when you click on deleting the background, the whole background will disappear, but not the inside of the cat. So for example, let's take a look at this one. So I now have this purple cat that I put in, but again, you see how it has this huge backdrop. So I'm going to just delete it. And now notice when I delete the purple parts, most of the cat stays around. Now there's a little bit around the edge, but I don't think that's too terrible. But I have to do it for all of the pictures. And this time there are 49 pictures. So that's going to take a little bit of time for me to do. Um, if you want, you can, you know, I'm going to actually get rid of this cat and just leave it as is with the one that I already have. But you know, you can upload any kind of cat, and if you want to have the time to do that, feel free to delete the background. So I'm going to get rid of that cat. So now, when I make my cat dance, let me look at the code here. I have to put the code on it. Take Anna's code and put it on top of Gliffy. Do that again probably just didn't copy it right and let's go put it on Liffy. where is the code uh -oh. probably because I have it so small there we go it's like way down here there we go okay took me a second to find it So now, when I click on the green, I can see I get them both to dance. And I can actually move one in front of the other, and it won't hurt anything. And for your parents, you know, this reminds me of a Paul Abdul video with some kind of cheetah cat, and that's pretty cool. So we have our own version of that here. Um, so what are you going to do? Well, what I would like you to do is go into Scratch and see if you can recreate some kind of animation like this. And I would like you to post that picture of that up inside of Seesaw and share in Seesaw the link to your project. Make sure you share the link to your project inside of Seesaw so I can see what you have done. See you next time. Wow, look at that cat dance. That's just really, really cool.